On February 15th, the Socialist Equality Party held the workers' inquiry into the bankruptcy of Detroit. The inquiry included presentations on the economic, social, and legal background of the bankruptcy, proving that it is an illegal conspiracy to slash workers' pensions and sell off the artwork of the Detroit Institute of Arts. Following the inquiry, workers and students who attended the event spoke about its significance. I was in attendance today at the workers' in inquiry into the bankruptcy in Detroit here at Wayne State University. Uh, we've spent the last six hours or so just talking about the history behind how the crisis w was manufactured in Detroit to create the basis for the bankruptcy, how the bankruptcy itself was engineered. The emergency manager was a plant, was a manufactured mess where legality was either ignored or recreated to suit the interests of the people who wanted to force a bankruptcy, to force the issue of destroying what little the workers still have in Detroit. I feel like it was definitely uncovered that uh, this is definitely a legitimate conspiracy and that this was a premeditated event and uh, it's no accident that this is uh, this is happening, that Detroit's going bankrupt and that uh, all these people are making so much money off of it. Mm -hmm. At the Inquirer meeting, I learned that uh, the financial manager um, does not have the paperwork to even be a financial manager. I think the inquiry was really great. It was really significant uh, for the working class. It was significant for history because I think like the attacks on the working class that have happened here is not just something that has happened here but all over the world. This is just really significant and really shows in what immense form those attacks has been happening. So I think it's really important that people talked about it. It's really important to educate uh, workers on what's going on and that this is not just something that's happening here that they're like actually not just individuals who that happens to but that it's actually something that's happening to the whole working class. What was uncovered here was something that's much grander than uh, most people realize. I think that this can be applied not only on the county level for Detroit but for like the entire country because if this if this is really happening and it seems to be that it is this could have serious serious repercussions for the rest of the country. I thought it was a great event it tells the truth about uh, life, it tells the truth about Obama, it tells the truth about Dan Gilbert, it tells the truth about how they're trying to interfere with our voting rights. It was really helpful to me just to have that, that reaffirmation of, yes, this is what's going on, yes, it's immoral and illegal, and here are all the reasons for it. We can see the patterns, and it's, it's good to know what's going on. Knowledge is power. So now that we have that, we can start sharing that knowledge with people. It's just going to be, that's the next part of this job, and it's going to be the hard part, is getting everybody to understand this is what's going on. The inquiry and the presentations uh, were varied. One that uh, really um, spoke to me was when the, the legal correspondent spoke about uh, the facts and implications of what's going on here. Um, of course, frustration rises because you uh, can feel helpless against it, but uh, inspiration comes from the idea that there are so many people, international delegates, a room full of uh, Detroit citizens um, that are ready to stand up and stand together in solidarity. I'm here to join the movement and to do everything positive to help our generations to be blessed and to know our rights in the United States of America and not be fooled by Obama. I feel that when you see people out in the street passing this out, you need to take it, you need to read it, and you need to email, and you need to come to the meetings. The city, the world, we need each other now, or we're all going to be on a soup line.